All right, so ladies and gentlemen, it says sine squared of x um, times secant squared of x minus sine squared of x. And what it asks us to do is it says simplify by factoring and then use your trigonometric identities to simplify further. So what we want to do is we want to see about factoring. All right, now remember whenever you're asked to factor or you need to factor, the first thing you always want to look for is what are the common factors? What do your terms have in common? So we have two terms. We have this term and we have that term. And what we want to do is say, what do they share? What are their common elements that they share that we can kind of pull out? So before you kind of answer that question, let's go back through a couple easier questions. What about if I said 3 minus 3x? So when you first learned a factor, you said, all right, what do these two terms share? You could say they shared a 3, which we wrote as our GCF, right? Remember greatest common factor? So we said the greatest common factor was 3. So then how do you factor once you know the greatest common factor? What you do is you divide each term by your greatest common factor. So therefore, the factored form was 3 divided by 3, which is 1, and negative 3x divided by 3, which is a negative x. Does everybody agree with me? You could always check if your factored form was correct by using the distributive property, which would give you back to your answer. Does everybody follow me on the review? Okay. Okay, then the next thing we would just do is maybe do like a little bit harder problems. Do, uh, you know, 3x squared, um, and then you could say minus 6x to the fourth. And you could say, what do they share in common? Well, they share a 3, and they share a 3x squared. So you could say the GCF of this one is equal to a 3x squared. So we divide each term by 3x squared. Okay, so. What is 3x squared divided by 3x squared? 1. What is negative um, 6x squared divided by 3x squared? Negative 2x squared. Negative 2x squared. All right, you guys got me with, with polynomials. OK, so now we're going to use trig. So we look over here and we say, what do these two terms have in common? Sine squared. Sine squared of x. So we could say, the GCF equals sine squared of x. So now we need to divide both terms by sine squared of x. So um, the sine squared of x times secant squared of x divided by sine squared of x is going to leave us with what? Secant squared of x. Secant. OK. So when we divide by sine squared of x, this divided by sine squared of x leaves us with secant squared of x. If you, if you divide sine squared of x by sine squared of x, isn't that just 1? Yeah, but you, you're multiplying it by sine squared of x. Right. These divide out to 1. So you're just left with what? Secant. Secant squared of x. Then, what's a negative sine squared divided by sine squared? Negative 1. Very good. So now, I have factored this to this format. You want to check your answers? Let's see if it used the, apply the distributive property to see if it makes sense. Does sine, times, does sine squared of x times secant squared of x give you sine, sine squared of x secant squared of x? Yes. Yeah. Does sine squared of x times negative 1 give you negative sine squared of x? Yes. So we factored it correctly. Now, or is this simplified? Well, I don't know. We still have some, some uh, Pythagorean identity squared. So we could say, could we rewrite the secant squared of x minus 1 into a different form? Well, we know that 1 plus cotangent squared of x equals secant squared of x. So secant squared of x minus 1 equals cotangent squared of x is equal to secant squared of x minus 1. Has everybody followed me what I did? I just rewrote. I thought it was tangent, not It is tangent, not cotangent. Thank you. I even messed up my problem. There you go. Thank you very much. So yes, it's going to be tangent squared of x. Does everybody see how though I manipulated my original equation? So therefore, I can say that sine squared of x times tangent squared of x. Does everybody follow me? That where where did I lose you? I guess it's tangent squared of x equals secant squared of x minus one. I guess that's yeah three yeah. Just subtract the one equal on both sides, and then you equal to it. So now, can I simplify this any further? Well, I don't know. Let's if I apply the quotient identity. Sine squared of x times, um, this is going to be sine squared of x over cosine squared of x. 
Is that really going to simplify our problem by multiplying it? No, not really. Right? So we're just going to leave it as sine squared times tangent squared. Wait, that's just Yeah. Should I just simplify it? Oh, well, like, you okay. couldn't put the one above it. That would be wrong. I thought you had to simplify it. Like, you couldn't. You couldn't well, I mean, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second, but what? You couldn't leave it at just sine squared of x times secant squared of x. Whatever. Well, you can rewrite that as a simpler identity, right? Oh. So you'd want to change it there. OK? Um, and that's kind of like the difficult thing about it.